What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. It's good to be back in front of the camera. Like, I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I just been out in a bout with the fam as of late. Like, ever since my boy Flash left, man, like, I just been wanting to be at the crib. I just been wanting to be out with the fam, my daughter, my wife, chilling, enjoying life. Like, I made a post yesterday and basically just saying, like, for the last Army, five plus years it's just been straight grind mode for your boy and sometimes i don't really just get the chance to just enjoy life so and i'm ready to get back in front of this camera to get y'all some content now i got an early review now army i'm sorry i was supposed to have did this early review a while ago shout out to my boy jay the sneaker guy for dropping these off for your boy but before we even get into the sneakers army if y'all seen the post i made last night on my ig story I got about 100 pairs of the vault that I'm going to slowly start getting rid of. And I kind of gave y'all a little screenshot on my whatnot thumbnail for the next whatnot army. I'll probably, now hear me out, I'll probably do like the 16th of July because that's the day that the Air Jordan 3, I'm on my years, I'm supposed to be dropping on my year website. So I might, you know, save the M army. I got so much stuff, yo. So much stuff, man. Flight is opening up a store in Dallas. August 3rd is a grand opening. Some of my items will be up in there. Like we got a lot going on, a lot. So make sure y'all are following flights so y'all can, especially if y'all in Texas, so y'all can pull up for the grand opening. Also, Army, do not forget to bookmark the next Whatnot Live stream. I'ma gradually be picking shoes that I got in the containers. I also got to sell a lot of these sneaker containers too. Army, I just need y'all to be there for one of the biggest Whatnot Lives I plan on doing. Again, moving a lot of my personal pairs out of the vault. Follow me on IG so y'all can know what it is. I might give y'all a couple more hints of, you know, what your boy planning on selling, but we about to turn it up, Army. So the link is in the description section below. You get $15 off your first purchase if you use that link. If you already got a whatnot account, create another one. I got about a $10,000 unboxing that I picked up from my bands from Soul Steel. So with that being said, Army, a lot of old stuff. You know, I don't do that new stuff. A lot of that old stuff in there, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna unbox that probably tomorrow. So make sure y'all watching the videos, hitting that like button, smashing that notification bell so y'all never miss another video, Army. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. So again, so you don't miss a video and I'm ready to check these out. Again, shout out to my boy, Jay the Sneaker Guy for these Army. And I really haven't heard a lot of people talking about these upcoming Air Jordan 1s. Now these are scheduled to drop on august 3rd and the only person that i feel like i've seen post about these is mr unloved ones and of course that's his name bro gonna make sure y'all get all of the information and all of the looks as far as air jordan one so if it was anybody i say follow when it come to retro ones of course it's my man's mr unloved one army so make sure y'all follow him over there on the gram and over there on twitter now, army these are scheduled to drop on august 3rd and you can see that these joints do come with this gold box Check out the label. Label reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is black metallic gold sale. This is a size 11. Again, shout out to my man Jay the Sneaker Guy for dropping these joints off for your boy. Check out the lid right here. Do come wrapped up with all of the extra wrapping paper that we see inside of the box. Let's go ahead and move this out the way. The joints out of the box. Now, the first thing that just pop out to me is we got this dope gold hang tag. Similar to the hang tag that we had on the Air Jordan 1 reimagined bread, the padded bread joint. So I like that little hit right there, Army. And when I first seen these, I'm just like, they finally did it. Now, if you know what I'm talking about, Army, this had to be like, I still was in college around the time that these joints dropped. They When they first came out with those Air Jordan 1 Mellow PEs, y'all remember they had the Mellow joints, you had the Blake Griffins, you had the Chris Paul's, and I want to say that was it. I could be missing in the Russell Westbrook, Westbrook, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and Melo. You had those four. Now, the thing is, Army, it had their logos on them, but it also had that Jumpman. And I've never been a fan of the Jumpman on the Air Jordan ones. It just, that was always my stickler when it came to retro ones. And I feel like that's why retro ones finally got that boost and finally got that that attention that a lot of people felt like it deserved in like 2013 is because that's when they brought back the nike air on the tongue when you bring back that nike air on the tongue that's air jordan one so when the mellows drop i'm like man these the coldest one out the pack 
But like, where's the Nike Air? I'm like, the day that they put the Nike Air on the mellow joints, that'll be the day that I like actually, actually keep them. But don't get me wrong, Army. The mellows back then, the quality was still good on those Air Jordan 1s. It wasn't like it was terrible quality. Again, I was just a stickler of having that, you know, that jump man on the joints, man. Whether the jump man was on the back or whether the jump man was on the tongue, Army, I was just never a fan of it. And I want to say the jump man was on the back of these and not on the tongue, like I mentioned earlier. And seeing how we get in the Air Jordan 12 mellows next year, Army, could it be a coincidence? I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below, but I'm feeling this translucent like gum also, like where they do that at? You know what I'm saying? Like I, I rock with that army. It's a small thing that Jordan brand has been doing to a couple of the Air Jordan ones that I've been rocking with. Now look, I ain't gonna hold y'all. When my boy Flash was over here the other day, man, we were just talking about, you know, some of the Air Jordans and some of the upcoming Air Jordans that, you know, will be happening next year. And he mentioned how he don't wanna buy any more retro ones unless they came with the big swoosh on the side. Now, I wanna say Mr. Unloved Ones broke this news too that we will be getting the big swoosh, some of y'all probably like, break. where you get the Dior Lowe's army? We gotta go through the collection. Collection video is happening very, very soon. I still gotta do the video showing all of the shoes I do plan on selling, and then I'm gonna hit the collection video army, but the big swoosh, big swoosh will be returning on Jordan 1 Lowe's, I wanna say next year. They should do it for all of them. I'm not sure if it's for all of them. I'm gonna text Mr. Unloved Ones and try to get a little bit more information army, but Muggs want the big swooshes on the Air Jordan 1s now. They want it, so hopefully they do bring back the big swoosh, or, and if they don't bring it back for everyone, a couple of them will get it, you know what I'm saying, for those who actually like that on them. Now, this metallic gold is just a, a tad bit different army, like by me pressing on the toe box, I don't want to say it's giving me silver toe vibes, you know what I'm saying, but kind of, sort of, like, it, it definitely feel like it's some kind of, like, like material that's over this leather that we got on the toe box and that we got on the gold. It's not as flat as the leather that we have on the side panel, if that makes sense to y'all. Again, you got that metallic gold Nike Air right there on the tongue. You got that dope hang tag as well. Black Factory Laces Army. And y'all let me know how y'all feel about these joints, man. Definitely gonna jump on a turntable to give y'all an up close personal look at the Air Jordan 1 metallic gold. But are these on your radar? I feel like it's a lot of shoes that's dropping now. And especially since we've seen what's dropping 2025, it's almost to the point like, I don't have to spend no more bread on certain shoes until 2025, y'all. Like, I'd rather just save all my money up for next year than to just grab a couple joints just because they look good now. Again, don't get me wrong, Army. These not bad. Like, I'm, I'm messing with the outsole. The outsole is crazy, but do I need them? I don't, but let's jump in front of the turntable. I can give y'all that up close person. Look at the Air Jordan 1 Metallic Gold. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. All right, Army, got the box on the turntable. Now, as you guys can see, we got that Metallic Gold box. Let's go ahead and turn them around. Got the label, label reads, Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Colorway is Black Metallic Gold Sale. Again, this is a size. 11 retail will be 180 and these are scheduled to drop on august 3rd again we got all that paper inside the box which i don't know why they still doing it macking the joints on the turntable army now sometimes i understand why they put that much paper in there like when you got a shoe like suede or like it don't bleed on the other shoe but these materials well maybe this gold right here can scuff because like i mentioned arm this kind of got like that Air Jordan 1 silver toe kind of vibe. So the material probably can get damaged in transit, but we got the Air Jordan 1 high OG black metallic gold. First thing that pop out is this dope Air Jordan hang tag army. Same type of hang tag that we did get with the padded breads. We got our Air Jordan wing logo right there as well. Material on it is the same, man. Nothing special, Army. No crazy shatter backboard leather. Just regular Air Jordan 1 leather on these joints. Again, Army, nothing crazy. Check out the tongue. We got that Nike Air right there and that metallic gold on the tongue. Joints come factory with the black laces right there. Gold Nike swoosh on them as well, Army. And honestly, I'm keeping it a buck. That's about it. Like, and like... 
Nothing too, too crazy. Glad that they finally added that Nike Air right there on the tongue. Difference between these and the Mellows that we did get almost 10 years ago, y'all. So, good thing Jordan Brand is bringing these back. We are getting the Mellow 12s next year now. I'm not saying that this colorway dropped because of, you know, Mellow's retirement and things of that nature. But, I mean, you just never know. You just never know. And they, you know, giving us a retro 12s next year. But from just this, I'm going to just say we just getting a gold and black colorway. I know the Alphas going to love these joints. Y'all probably going to make these joints be the hottest selling Air Jordan one of all time. Now, the crazy thing is, well, I guess the Sigmas, we didn't got our colors. So I'm about to say the Qs got the Brotherhoods a few years ago. The Alphas got these, man. Like, we're just the regular Royal Blue and White retro ones. But we got the game Royals a couple years ago. So we'll take it, Army. I'm going to go ahead and get these joints one more quick 360. Then we can jump back in front of the camera to end the video off. Now, I mean, now that we have seen the Air Jordan 1 black metallic gold, how do y'all feel about these? Do y'all like the patent leather joints that we got in 2020 better? I actually like these better than the patent leather joints, man. I think once they did the Air Jordan 1 patent brands, I'm just like, patent leather just don't go on retro ones. I've said that for years. Like, I'm in a debacle with myself whether or not I want to get rid of my Jordan 1 top gold. You know, because that's an all pad leather sneaker, the complex kind of exclusive joints, man. But I'm just like, I kind of want to keep those. Like, certain ones, I'm just like, man, they special. You don't see them every day. You feel me? So I'm just like, eh. I'd rather keep the top three patent leather complex kind of joints over getting these. Or if I had the 2020s. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, once you get to a point where it's just same colorway, same silhouette, a lot of these can move. So if I'm being 100% honest, Army, I'm going to pass on these joints right here. But again, let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. Are these on your radar as far as Jordan wants to cop? I know the men of Alpha Phi Alpha gonna go crazy for these, man. These is perfect. Like, y'all know y'all gonna have these at every probate. Every probate, man. Shout out to the D9, y'all, man. All love to the D9 Greeks in the comment section below, Army. But again, let me know how y'all feel about these. Are these a cop or a drop? And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Golds. You got the Unbreakable Vote, Unbreakable Army since showing like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones, and of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the Yeezys. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get a music. Yo, it's old him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.